Well, good morning, everybody. I know it's almost lunchtime, but this is Pastor Allen at today's Victory Church, and we are uh, loading a lot of stuff out of the church today. Been very busy uh, this morning, and uh, just now got an opportunity to uh, be able to do this. But I want to make sure that I'm faithful to this daily uh, word and to everybody's life. So I appreciate those who are jumping on. I ask you to please share this. Uh, it'll be on YouTube later on today as we get finished with these loads. So I got several people out here help us. Jason's out here working hard, uh, sweating up a good one. And uh, Chasson's out here working with me. Elena had been out here with us earlier and uh, uh, doing some work around the church here that needs to, uh, needs to get done. So that's why you see me, you see me like this in my Pop Pops shirt, because uh, my grandkids call me Pop Pops. But anyway, let me get into the Word today and uh, just give you a daily encouragement of what uh, was on my heart this morning when I first got up. So Psalms chapter 24, verse 8. Psalms 24, 8 says, Who is the King of glory? Amen. Who is the, who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Uh, so who is the King of glory? We serve the King of glory. It's our Lord, it's our Lord Jesus Christ. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, our Lord Jesus Christ that we serve and we've yielded our lives to. I let you know that He is strong and He is mighty and He is mighty in battle. It is time for each and every one of us to open up the doors of our lives and let this king of glory come in. To let this king of glory begin to reign in our lives. And, and not just something that we talk about, not just something that we discuss here or there, or something that we practice on a Wednesday night or our small group session or, or on a Sunday morning, but it's something that's inside of us. We open the doors of our lives and let the king of glory come in. Amen. That means that we don't have to try to do or even try to solve everything in our lives, in our own power, in our own ability, because the Lord, that King of glory, the Lord, is mighty in battle. I am in covenant relationship with my Heavenly Father. You are in covenant relationship with your Heavenly Father. That's what took place on the cross. Blood was shed. A tree was planted. Blood, that tree was sprinkled with the, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the final acts that takes place when a covenant is sealed between two partners. And we've been, we have a covenant that is sealed with our Heavenly Father. And I fight His battles and He fights my battles. So I don't have to try to do everything by myself. I, I don't even have to try to do it in my own power. It's by His power and by His ability. So when I let God into my life, when you let God into your life, and not only your life, but into your situations. You know, so many times we let God into our lives. We come down and we weep and we cry and the presence of God moves upon us and things take place and it's wonderful and it's great. And we walk out of the house and we're okay for a little while. But what we do is we let God, of the God of glory, into our life but we don't let the God of glory into our situation. So I encourage you today. Here's my word to you. Let the God of glory, the Lord that is strong and mighty, the Lord that is mighty in battle, not, don't just let Him into your life. Let Him into your situation. And I don't know what your situation is. I've got a few situations going on right now. And I'd be honest with you, I have peace and I have joy and I, I don't even understand where, where this thing's going here and where that thing's going there and what's going to take place in those different areas but God has spoken to my life and spoken to my heart and spoke into the situation saying listen I'm the king of glory I am strong and mighty I am the I am fighting this battle for you so allow me into not only your life and, and for me personally allow me more than just into your ministry let me allow me into your situation. So all of us have situations. All of us have circumstances that are going around us right now that we're having to deal with. 
Allow God to be the King of glory. Allow Christ to reign in your life. Let Him have the, the throne room of your heart and the throne room of your life. I'm just going to tell you right now, it's not about how much money you make. It's not about how, uh, how good your reputation is. It's not about any of those things. It's about, it's about who's on the throne of your life. In fact, when God is on, Christ is on the throne of your life, a lot of times your reputation can not, not look so good because it stirs up things and it stirs up the enemy and it stirs up all kinds of stuff around you because you're speaking uh, a truth. Now, I believe you have to speak that truth in love and I believe that you need to speak that truth uh, uh, in, in a godly fashion. But as you begin to do that and, the, and He reigns on, the, on, the, on your heart and He reigns in the throne of your heart, a lot of things can take place and situations can change and, and become even difficult at some times. But listen, what we do is when those things happen, the devil tries to discourage us, which we talked about last week. We talked about the spirit of discouragement and uh, discouragement even on Sunday and began to just rebuke those type of things off of, off of people's lives. Now, but we have those things happen, but we, and we let God come in and move in us, but we have to let God be the king of glory in the situation. It's so easy to try to do it by ourselves. So tr easy to try to do it our, within our own power and ability. But God wants to move into your situation. I'm telling you this morning, He is strong. And He is mighty. And there is no battle out there that will ever defeat Him. I asked a Christian brother the other day. He said, can you pray these devils out of me? And I said, well, are you covered by the blood? Yes. Are you saved? Yes. Is Christ living in your heart? Yes. Then how can you be filled with a devil? My dad used to say it this way. He said, you know, if you're covered by the blood, for the devil to possess you, that means he's going to have to cross the blood to possess you. And, he, and to cross the blood, he had to get covered in the blood himself to, to possess you. And if the devil crosses the blood, he'd become a saved devil. And the Bible always tells us that's not going to happen. No, what happens is, what happens is, we don't let the King of Glory be strong and mighty in the battles of our situations. And we have things that attach to us and things that grab a hold of us. And they begin to, uh, they begin to build up strongholds in our lives. My father used to say, if you give the devil a toehold, he'll take a foothold. If you give him a foothold, he'll, he'll begin to build a stronghold. And we need to tear those strongholds down. We need to shut the door on the devil and open the door to the Holy Spirit in our lives and let the King of Glory into our situation. Let the King of Glory into our circumstance. And when you do, and say, how do I know I've actually done that, Pastor? Because you'll have peace. You'll have peace over that situation. When the world says you shouldn't have peace, when the world says you should be wringing your hands, when the doctor says you're going to die, and when the financiers come in and say, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this to you, we're going to take this away, we're going to take this away, you have peace because God is fighting your battle. God is fighting your battles. Not a license to be lazy, obviously. We need to be proactive in our lives around us and in our situations, but I turn every one of those things over to God. You turn every one of those things over to God. Who is this King of Glory? Who is the King of Glory? Psalms 28.4, uh, uh, 24.8. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Amen. I like that. I, I want to preach. I'm, I'm sitting in the church right now, so I, I got this preach thing coming on me. So I'm trying not to do it. So listen, here's my four points. Here's my four points. Open the door to the King of Glory in your life, and He'll come in. Don't try to do it and solve everything in your own power and ability because you are not you are not able. Let God into your life. Let the King of Glory into your situation. Let the King of Glory into your circumstance. And understand, point four, understand He is strong and mighty and there's no battle that will defeat Him. Nobody's bigger than God. The devil's not bigger than God. The devil's not bigger than God. That's why he can't come in and make you. He can come in to deceive you. He can come in and do all kinds of things. But he can't come in and remove you. And he can't come in and take you. Because God is bigger than anything. 
He is strong and is back and is mighty, and there's no battle that'll defeat him. Amen. Well, that's my word for you today. As you go forth today, let the King of Glory into your situation. Whatever situation you're looking at today, whatever you're having to deal with today, let the King of Glory into that situation. For He is mighty and He is strong and He is mighty in the battle. And He will fight that battle for you. Amen? Thank you guys. I don't know how long I've gone because I'm in a different situation. I don't have all my stuff around me. But uh, let me pray over you right now. And before I do, and don't, don't jump off. A lot of people jump off as soon as I start praying. Don't jump off yet. But let me tell you this, I'll be on YouTube a little later. I got to do all this, we got to finish all this work first. And when I get back, I'll throw it up on YouTube. Uh, please uh, share this on our Facebook feed. Uh, share it on your feed, whatever you can. Let's get the word out on this. In our church feed right here, in, in our church feed on the Facebook page, you'll see our YouTube channel and uh, link. So just scroll down to that. Take that YouTube channel link. Share that with friends. Copy that link. Text it to people. Let people hear this word. I don't care what church they're going to. They don't have to go to our church. I want them to hear the word. This is what this is for. I want them to hear the word daily into their lives. Amen? Let's pray together. Lord, we invite you into our lives and recognize you as the King of glory. Father, we understand and recognize a day and and just admit to every, everyone around us and to ourselves that we can't handle things on our own. But with you, we can handle anything. Because you are strong and you are mighty. And Father, we want more than just a, an experience with you, Father. We want your presence. I want, we want more than a shout, Father. We want more than just a doctrine. We want more than all these things. We want your presence in our lives. Because when you are with us in our presence, Father, we understand that, that we can overcome and live in victory every day of our life. So we want to thank you right now, Father, for whatever situation that we're laying out before you today, that we're allowing you to be the king of glory in that situation. We thank you that you're going to bring victory and you're going to bring breakthrough in that area of our life. And we speak it now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. I'm going to get back to it over here. These guys are, are wanting me to get done. We, oh, we got some more people pulling up. So, hey, God bless you guys. I'll be back uh, hopefully tomorrow on time. Tomorrow at 9 o'clock. God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m.